So here we are, everyone, in the finale of SCP-610. I have thoroughly enjoyed this SCP, and I hope this final entry will bring this SCP to a satisfactory end. Now, L6 is expunged from the original file. However, I like to do my own additions to some of the SCP files, just to give it some a bit more story, you know. Now, I understand that some of you won't like this interpretation, and that's perfectly fine, because everyone's entitled to their opinion. And this is just my interpretation. Anyway, let's get into this. And always, guys, thank you so much, and enjoy. SCP-610-L6, Exploration Records of Operation Source Point, File Expunged, Data Recovered, Administrator Clearance Accepted. The following comes from the video feed of the team members who fell into the river and were washed away by the current. The team is stuck in the current for approximately three minutes before being washed further and further into the cave system. Eventually, the river begins to branch out into smaller cave systems, allowing the team to gain some footing and climb out of the river. One researcher and one agent are unaccounted for in the footage. It is assumed they were lost down another tunnel. The team at this point is made up of several security agents, of which two carry working flame units. The team can hear gunfire in the distance, and it is assumed this is from the other assault team. Hereafter, known as the River Team, note a significant increase in SCP-610 flesh growth on the cave surfaces now, making it hard to manoeuvre. The agents suggest the increase in growth means they may be nearing a source. The team decided to follow a slanting tunnel that had the biggest SCP-610 growth. After five minutes of difficult terrain navigation, the team find themselves in a huge cave filled with 610 entities. Every surface of the cave has big veins of 610 flesh running across it. There are structures like flesh columns protruding from the ground, identical to the structures seen by the damaged drone. In the centre of the cave, suspended by angled supports, is a huge flesh sphere, ten times larger than one seen topside by the D-Class personnel. After some time, the sound of a bell is heard, and all the 610 entities appear to dissolve into the fleshy veins, leaving the room empty. It is presumed these flesh are going towards the church found in the previous ELS-5 entry. The team move towards the sphere, taking care to avoid the fleshy veins until they are directly under the mass. At this point, gunfire from the other team can be heard from above. The flame units move forward and begin torching the sphere with no effects other than scorching the side. The gunfire from above stops. It is presumed this is when the team above are all killed. 610's entities begin to grow again from the veins running across the room, filling the room once more. The team is engaged in fierce combat as the team is attacked from all sides. The team group together as the swarm gets closer underneath the mass. Grenades are thrown to try to disperse the group, however having little effect against the overall horde. Tendrils rip from the ground and begin restraining team members as 610 entities begin to overrun the team. The hooded figure appears again holding his scythe and approaching the restrained agents. The last still standing agent locks eyes with the entity, lowers his sidearm to point at the dead agent's flame unit fuel canisters and fires. Audio and video feed from the agents is lost, however a huge spike in seismic activity was recorded at the same time as the video feed end. It is theorised that the explosion from the ruptured fuel tanks was sufficient to cause the sphere to combust and explode, killing all underground SCP-610 entities. The fate of the hooded figure is unknown. Since this action, there has been no further sightings of SCP-610 infected in the containment area. However, this SCP is still considered an active Keta threat, and the area is to be monitored in case of another outbreak. Addendum SCP-610-L6-1 Discussion with SCP-049 regarding SCP-610. We allowed you to look over the specifics of SCP-610. Can you give us any insight to what it might be? SCP-049 remains silent, however shows signs of overall discomfort from within its cell. What is SCP-610? Science requires sacrifice. Are you connected to SCP-610? I have been to many places, Doctor. I now have the cure to the Great Pestilence. However, my work was not without failure during its development. It was you! You made SCP-610! Science requires sacrifice, Doctor. Can SCP-610 be terminated? Surely for what you would call a successful cure, you would not want an inferior practice still around demeaning your work. It's hostile and dangerous. SCP-049 remains silent. The security team came in contact with a hooded figure. Here is a still image of it. An image of the hooded figure is projected into the containment cell. SCP-049 observes the projection and then turns away as if appalled. Who or what is that figure? Nothing. 
a memory and a relic, nothing more. Is the figure you, a manifestation of you somehow? SCP-049 remains silent. Who is the figure? SCP-049 remains silent and does not answer any further questions. Given the testimony by SCP-049, it is suspected that SCP-049 created SCP-610 during experimentation prior to containment. How long SCP-610 remained dormant before manifesting in the Russian villages is unknown. The identity of the hooded figure is inconclusive. It is suspected it could be some version or manifestation of SCP-049 in an unknown form. However, this is only speculation and there is little evidence to support this. Final word of 05-4. Enough blood has been spilled over this SCP. No further explorations are to be attempted into the containment area of SCP-610. SCP-049 is not to be implemented with SCP-610 for undisclosed reasons. This file is to be expunged from the records. Thank you all so much for being with me for this mini-series. I really hope you've enjoyed it as much as me. Next will be SCP-999 with colour. That's right, I'm going to try and bring some colour to some of these videos now. However, I'm going to be taking a couple of days off now because 610 was such a huge file. I just need a couple of days to re-energise, you know. 999 should be up in a week or so, maybe. As always, be sure to check out the social media for updates. And if you can't wait that long, please become a patron to support me. You will get access to the pictures as they are drawn, early access, priority SCP suggestions, one-on-one -on -one chats, and so much more. So please check it out. And thank you so much to Gabrielle, Ethan, Hulk, and Stephu. Your pledges are very much appreciated. Thank you. And I'll see you all very soon, guys.